Welcome back to the channel everyone. If you guys are interested to see another 10 shot shootout video of another viewer load, stick around. Welcome back to the channel everyone. Thank you for all the returning subscribers. If you're new to the channel here, think about subscribing, think about submitting your load down in the comments below and maybe you'll see your load on the next episode of my 10 shot shootout. So guys, today's video will be short and sweet. Um, today's video was submitted by one of my subscribers named Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben submitted a 120 grain AMAX load, part number 26172. This bullet, however, is now discontinued, but I just happened to have some on the shelf, so I thought we'd give it a whirl. His load was 44 grains of H4350, a CCI BR2 primer, and obviously Hornady cases that you see on the bench. The cartridge overall length recommended by Uncle Ben was 2.815 inches. I will say I have shot this projectile before, however my coal at that point in time was 2.710 inches. And for this particular projectile, this actually is jammed into my lands. Well, typically I don't reload anything jammed into the lands, uh, I didn't see any reason when any of my previous loadings that, that scared me away from a pressure increase that was going to be unsafe, and so I loaded these as Uncle Ben recommended. So guys, we'll get right into the data. As all of my other loads, I trim these back to 1.910 inches. These cases, as always, were annealed in all of my normal case prep with my matched die set and also my Sinclair Mandrel die to set my neck tension at exactly 1,000th. With this particular load, factory loading guesstimates, the estimate actual velocity for this load would be 206 feet per second. I will say that the first shot of this group was actually my third shot of the day. I actually saw my first five shot group significantly increasing in velocity as I was shooting. You may want to pay a little bit more attention to the second five shot group than the first. Not that I'm trying to make excuses. However, as we get into the data, the first five shot group, the estimated velocity again was 2906. Average velocity with the five shot group was 2908 feet per second. The standard deviation was an unfortunate 13.2 with an extreme spread of 33. The group size on your screen 1.046 MOA, so certainly not a spectacular load that I've shot so far. Like I mentioned with the first five shot group, actually if you omit the first shot as the barrel was warming up, if you make it a four shot group, the actual average velocity was 2913 with a standard deviation of 6.8 with an extreme spread of 15. Certainly a much more favorable outcome. Now the second five shot group, slight velocity jump here and it was the eighth through twelfth shot that I shot this day. Theoretical book velocity on this load would have been to around 2906. My actual velocity achieved was 2932. Standard deviation of 7.8 in this case, extreme spread of 21. But that 0.601 MOA group certainly looks a little bit better than that 1.046 MOA group. So certainly not a bad load. Um, again, 120 grain AMAX. These bullets are, I don't want to get into the whole AMAX story, but they had a problem with the melting tip and so they've actually redone these and this bullet is no longer being made. Um, there is a 120 grain ELD version of this projectile should anyone actually be looking for it with a similar ballistic coefficient but I don't believe it's an identical. So guys, draw your own conclusions. If you add all these shots together, the overall average velocity would have been 2920 with a standard deviation of 16.4 with an extreme spread of 56. Not the most spectacular load that I've had with this. I'm not sure I would line this up. Um, no offense to Uncle Ben, next time you probably want a different guy shooting your match load. It just wasn't a match made in heaven for my rifle today. If you've got something else, you let me know. Certainly put your load down in the comments below. If, if I have the components, you might just see your, your load next. Like I said, guys, certainly not the best match load that I've ever ran through my rifle, but you guys comment in the comments below. Let me know what your match load is if you've got a 6.5 Creedmoor. Maybe you guys would be the next lucky contestant to have your load featured on the 10-shot shootout. Thank you guys for sticking it out. If you guys liked today's video, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, think about hitting that subscribe button. Turn those notifications on so you get notified when I post a new video. Thank you to the old subscribers for coming back. And thank you guys for watching today's video. Stay safe in small groups to everyone.